If you are a thrill seeker, you might be excited to hear that a favorite haunted attraction is once again open for the season. It's Baldwin Asylum and Rant Tool and storyteller Aaron Valley joins us now. You actually paid them a visit last night. I did. Okay, so pretty much from October 1st on, each month I love to do holiday-themed stories. So this kicks off a week of spooky stories. Yes, I did visit Baldwin Asylum, where the staff was pretty excited to tell me that this might be their best season yet. Here's an inside look. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Baldwin Asylum. It's one of the top haunts in Illinois. And it's back for an epic ninth season. Baldwin Asylum is bringing the guts, gore, and horror to Rantoul every weekend, now through Halloween. The scaring people is kind of a unique thing. It's almost... Uh like a drug or adrenaline. Um, when you scare somebody, you get a feeling of, I got you, you know? This year's haunt takes victims on a journey through the aftermath of a witch's curse. Freaks, fiends, monsters and demons are out for blood. These tortured souls just might possess your own. We work our full-time job, we get it home, uh, we run up here, we're here for four or five hours a day. Um, sometimes two, three times a week, all through the off season. What makes it all worth it? Uh, people coming and freaking out. Uh, people that don't want to go in because it looks so real. Uh, hearing the screams, it's all so worth it. RJ Harding and Kyle Miller are actors with Baldwin Asylum, and they gave me a behind the scenes look at their costumes. So we've got a lot of uh, character uh, designs that have gone into the haunt this year. It makes it more fun for the staff. Uh, to be able to portray a character that's uh, different um, and then it's a lot more entertaining for the crowds when they come in to be able to see something different and uh, a character that's kind of evolved over the last seven years. One character that's evolved, the doctor, played by Kyle. He's got a new arm that took owner Mark Dam's nearly 250 hours to complete. This is what we sculpted on the arm uh, in clay. And then he's got these big mechanical fingers as well. While his character got into stilts, I took a closer look at RJ's giant platform shoes, built from yoga blocks. Uh, you know, yeah. And after getting to know the monsters a little bit better, it turns out these guys aren't so bad. Just a little misunderstood. How do you spend your free time? You know, we, we like to go to villages and... You know, take care of the, the elderly. Um, help children, you know. Um, I like to volunteer for parties. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Because they still managed to scare the living daylights out of me while I was getting footage inside the haunted house. Don't even get me started on this whistle. She's coming. I'm coming. Ah! <laughs> Please. <laughs> it gets me every time. Hey, amazing job scaring me. You were terrifying. Thank you. Uh, earlier you asked us why we do it. That's why we do it. And we're good at what we do. On an attraction is a no-touch, no-contact experience, and they're following all local and state mandates. And masks are required, and social distancing is in place between groups. To visit, reserve your time slot online. We'll connect you at CILiving.tv after the show. Wow. You sounded legitimately scared. Okay, so that whistle sound, mm -hmm. which was so loud, my camera couldn't really capture how loud it was. That's how loud it was. Wow. Um, it's actually 3D printed, so that guy 3D printed it, and it's based off this old Aztec 
battle tool that the Aztecs would drill these holes into skulls and blow through them to like intimidate oh my that in and of itself people at war. Yes, it is. Yes, it was so loud, but okay. so much fun. You guys should go check it out.